Hello everyone. I appreciate you tuning in to this video. As we head into the home stretch of this semester and the end of the academic year, I'd like to take this opportunity to give you some updates. First, there's the ongoing battle with COVID. The Bryn Mawr campus continues to observe tight protocols and has remained relatively safe. There have been a few cases, but our health center director, Valerie Arnoff Schwartz, has done an excellent job of keeping everything under control and working closely with county health officials. Masks are still required, along with distancing and the use of sanitizing. Unfortunately, several of our 15 partnership sites are closed due to the pandemic. This has made it necessary to deliver all partnership sites classes virtually. I'd like to especially have hats off to faculty and staff for rising to the occasion and helping us through the past most difficult year. You've all been great. We're not out of the woods yet. Immunizations are becoming more plentiful, although very uneven. By summer, we should be in good shape. Much depends on continuing to wear masks and not gathering in groups. There seems to be a large number of people who don't understand this, resulting in case numbers going up at this time. I urge you to continue to stay safe, at least into the summer. Lives depend on it. We will not have a large scale commencement this year under a tent. That's just not possible. What we will be doing is having a drive-through ceremony, one car per graduate. On Saturday, May 15th, each student will have the opportunity to proceed through the Bryn Mawr campus. Unlike past years, I will be able to give each graduate their actual diploma. Times will be staggered by academic program. There will be a live stream of the event. Currently in the works is the opportunity for each graduate to provide a picture to be posted in a special section of the Harcum website. Watch for more details on commencement. And congratulations to all the graduates. I would also like to announce that as a result of two additional federal stimulus acts, each student will be receiving additional funds to either apply to their accounts or use for other expenses. That is very good news. Stimulus funds have also enabled the college to improve its IT infrastructure and software applications. The college has not been standing still. The finishing touches are being done to two new programs in the allied health area. The first is in the behavioral health science. The degree will work in conjunction with current registered behavioral therapist certificate program. The second is massage therapy. That will use some of the same science offerings as PTA and OTA. Both will be offered in the fall. Starting this summer, we will be offering additional certifications for Rad Tech graduates for both CAT scan and MRI. Congratulations are also in order to the men's basketball team for becoming regional champs with a record of 17 and one. We're all looking forward to a return to face-to-face -face classes in the fall, and that is our goal. I'm especially looking forward to the day when I can get to interact with each and every one of you. So thanks for listening. Take care and stay safe.